Hi, my name's Aaron. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on installing real VNC server on a 64-bit vanilla Arch uh, distro. Um, now, Arch Linux provide via more of a community method, a ARM uh, version of Arch Linux. Um, as you can see here, it's kernel 5.11, which is well behind the, the x64 uh, versions of Arch Linux. But you can get a, a working system on your Raspberry Pi using Arch ARM. Now I've got the 64-bit version. They do do a 32-bit version as well. Um, as with any Arch, when you install it, you just come up with a command prompt. You will need to configure it and set it up. Um, the Arch Wiki can still guide you through some of those areas, um, although uh, Arch ARM is not officially supported um, by any way, shape, or means. However, don't let that deter you. Um, it is a still a rock solid system. If you're looking for something simple, out of the box, Manjaro um, would be the way to go. The, 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 their versions and their the time they've put into developing their ARM offerings is unreal and uh, so if you're looking for something simple um, and works out of the box, Manjaro on Arch Linux would be a, a way to go. But if you do have a vanilla Arch ARM installed, I've, I've got a package set up ready to go for real VNC server. You can either use the um, pre-compiled package here I've done. Uh, which makes things very simple. Um, to do that, you obviously do the pacman-u and it'll go and install the binary itself. Um, but we're going to do the git clone version so you can see what actually happens. Um, it, it's a slightly different config to the Manjaro ARM build I've got. Um, again, it comes down to where the Raspberry Pi firmware files are located. And what's enabled by default in Arch ARM's um, 64 vanilla version. So slightly different to the Manjaro Real Vinci I've got um, built previously. So before you install anything, make sure you have the package base devel installed. By default, only some packages are installed. Um, so you do need to run this command um, before you try to build this particular real VNC server package. If you don't do this, uh, you'll come across errors later on when you're trying to compile the package. So let's get started. So I've logged into my Raspberry Pi um, via SSH. You can do this through a keyboard and mouse plug directly into it. But for sake of easiness for me, I've just SSH into it. So let's get started. So let's clone the repository of mine, which I've added. Oh, that's right, I've got installed git. So let's do that now. We'll do this as anyone would have to do. Make sure you install git. Right, let's do this again. So we've cloned the repository. If we do an ls, you'll see it there. Let's cd into it. And now we make the package. So let's do that. It'll go away now and uh, build our package so we can install it. Should be fairly straightforward. As with anything you install with on a Raspberry Pi, it very much comes down to where the Raspberry Pi firmware libraries are located, because that varies on Manjaro, Vanilla Arch, Fedora, OpenSUSE. So that's the common denominator in getting real VNC to work. Um, once it's installed, it's good to go. It's comes in very, very handy, especially for Raspberry Pi devices. Um, just for reference, I'm running a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gig of RAM. Uh, this is my second one that I've bought. I've got one 
in a remote location running Manjaro XFCE ARM64, and that is rock solid. Uh, I wanted to log into it when I needed, but it just runs a few servers and other bits and pieces I do remotely, so can't complain about the Manjaro side of it. It's never crashed, extremely robust. I update it whenever I get around to it. That's right. So let's go yes. And she's installed. So now we're going to, I always check to make sure that the uh, service has actually started because sometimes it doesn't. Status, we'll do a status to make sure it has, make sure no errors come up, which we have to enable it first, of course. How silly am I? Enable it first. And we should sudo that, of course. And we need to start it. Yes, just to explain that, you obviously need to enable and start the actual service as it's not started by default. As with all systemd art services these days. So we'll do a status of that and make sure it's working, which it is, it's running. So now let's open up VNC Viewer. The IP address is 192.161.13. There we go. And the default user I've got on this is alarm. And here we are. I've real VNC'd into my GNOME desktop running on the Raspberry Pi, as you can see here. Again, I wouldn't recommend installing GNOME on a Raspberry Pi, only because it's such a heavy desktop, and we all know what GNOME's like. But it works quite fine, and just to prove that a real VNC server works on a vanilla Arch install. So, uh, yeah. That's it, guys. Either git clone my repository, or you can use the download my binary for the real VNC for vanilla Arch. But uh, there we go. Enjoy.